Hello friends, our today's topic is transportation in human beings. In this topic, we are going to learn structure of human heart, working of human heart and systemic representation of transport and exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Let's see human heart. Human heart is a hollow pumping organ of the body. It is made up of cardiac muscular fibers. The size of the human heart as big as our fist. Heart is about 12 cm in length and 9 cm in breadth. Its average weight is about 300 to 350 gram in male and 250 gram to 300 gram in female. Heart is located between two lungs in the thoracic cavity. It is covered by thin two-layered sac called as a pericardium. Human heart like a double pump. It is a pumping organ. Due to the contraction and relaxation of the muscles of human heart, the blood transported to the different part of the body and collected from the different part of the body. So circulation of the blood is possible due to the pumping of human heart. Oxygen and carbon dioxide is transported to the different part of the body through the human heart. Human heart has a different chambers to prevent oxygen rich blood from mixing with the blood containing carbon dioxide. Human heart has mainly two chambers that is the left chamber and right chamber. It is separated by a septum. This is the thin layer of muscles between left chamber and right chamber. Each chamber divided into two chambers that is upper chamber and lower chamber. Upper chambers are known as atrium and lower chambers are known as ventricle. So these are the four chambers of human heart. Upper chambers are known as atrium, lower chambers are ventricle, right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle and left ventricle. These are the four chambers of human heart. Working of human heart. Deoxygenated blood that is carbon dioxide containing blood collect from the different part of the body in the right atrium through the vena cava. These blood vessels collect deoxygenated blood from the different part of the body are known as the vena cava. This is the superior vena cava collect deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body and inferior vena cava collect deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body. Due to the relaxation of muscles of ventricle, deoxygenated blood present in the right atrium enters in the right ventricle. There is a valve between right atrium and right ventricle opens downward and blood goes into the right ventricle. These valves are known as a tricuspid valve. Tricuspid valve has three flaps. This is the tricuspid valve and it has three flaps. It opens only downward direction. So the deoxygenated blood present in the right atrium goes into the right ventricle. Due to the contraction of muscles of the ventricle, the blood present in the right ventricle push forwarded to the lungs for exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen with the help of pulmonary arteries. These are the pulmonary arteries carries deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to the lungs. There are pulmonary valve open at upward direction only. Therefore, blood goes only upward direction towards the lungs. So this blood does not come back into the right ventricle. So this blood push forwarded into the lungs with the help of pulmonary arteries. Inside the lungs, carbon dioxide remove from the blood and mix oxygen in the blood. This process is known as the oxygenation process. So oxygenation process takes place inside the lungs. In this process, oxygen mix in the blood and carbon dioxide removed. This oxygenated blood present in the lungs again entered in the left atrium with the help of pulmonary veins. Between the left atrium and left ventricle, there are bicuspid valve. They only open towards the downward direction. These valves have only two flaps. So this oxygenated blood present in the lung firstly come into the left atrium and from left atrium to left ventricle. It means 
the blood entered in the heart two times so this type of the circulation is known as a double circulation finally this oxygenated blood present in the left ventricle push forward it towards the different part of the human body with the help of the large blood vessel it is known as the aorta with the help of aorta this blood supplies to the different part of the human body the aorta has semi lunar aortic valve so with the help of this valve this valve open only upward direction this blood does not come back and supply to the different part of the body so it is very easy to remember how blood transport from heart to the different part and different part to the heart that is firstly deoxygenated blood collect in the right atrium with the help of vena cava from right atrium this blood entered into the right ventricle due to the relaxation of the ventricle muscles and the valves are present between right atrium and right ventricles are known as the tricuspid valves opens only downward direction these valves have three flaps then this deoxygenated blood present in the right ventricle supplied to the lungs for the purification that is the oxygenation process with the help of pulmonary artery the oxygen containing blood present in the lungs again come back into the left atrium of the heart with the help of pulmonary veins there is a bicuspid valve between left atrium and left ventricle this valves open only downward direction so this oxygenated blood present in the left atrium entered into the left ventricle and finally this oxygenated blood present in the left ventricle supplied to the different part of the human body with the help of aorta aorta has the semi lunar aortic valve so this valves help to prevent the flow of blood back into the left ventricle so this is the working of human heart supply blood to the different part of human body and collect deoxygenated blood from the different part of the body into the heart blood circulation has two main parts pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation pulmonary circulation means it is a movement of deoxygenated blood away from the heart that is towards the lungs and return oxygenated blood back to the heart another part is the systemic circulation it is a movement of oxygenated blood from heart towards the body and return deoxygenated blood back to the heart so these are the two stages of circulation of blood so blood entered in the heart twice during the each cycle so this circulation is known as a double circulation this is the human lungs this is the human heart and this is the any one organ that is the liver so the blood that is the deoxygenated blood collected from the liver that is the organ of the body to the heart so there are big network of the blood vessels around the organ is known as the organ capillaries these are very small in size when blood enter into the right atrium of the heart this blood goes to the right ventricle and from right ventricle it transported towards the lungs with the help of pulmonary artery for the oxygenation process around the lungs there are also lungs capillaries so this deoxygenated blood converted into the oxygenated blood by oxygenation process that is the removing of carbon dioxide and mixing of oxygen then this oxygen containing blood again entered into the left atrium of the heart with the help of pulmonary veins and finally the blood present in the left atrium entered into the left ventricle and supplied to the different part of the body with the help of aorta this is the systemic representation of transport and exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide so this is the completely closed cycle so this blood repeatedly comes into the heart heart to lungs lungs to again heart and from heart to body so this is the blood circulation double blood circulation in the human body because blood goes into the heart two times the separation of deoxygenated blood in the right side and oxygenated blood in the left side of the heart is useful to avoiding mixing such separation allows a high efficient supply of oxygen to the body this is very useful in animals that have high energy needs such as birds and mammals 
which constantly use energy to maintain their body temperature. In animals that do not use energy for this purpose, the body temperature depends upon the temperature in the environment. Such animals like amphibians or mini reptiles have three chambered heart and tolerate some mixing of the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood streams. Fish, on the other hand, have only two chambered heart. Blood is pumped to the gills and is oxygenated there and passes directly to the rest of the body. The blood goes only once through heart in the fish during one cycle. But in human beings and in birds, blood goes into the heart two times. Therefore, it is known as a double blood circulation. In next topic, we will discuss about blood pressure and types of blood vessels.